Ryan Triway tonight on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Jason Nicholas. Peter, good evening. Welcome to Academic Challenge. The challenge is simple. Tonight, these three teams will compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics. First, let's take a look at our team standings because at the end of the season, the top three scoring teams will return for our championship showdown. These points are very important, though, for another reason. Westfield Insurance will grant $20,000 to the top 10 schools that compete this season on Academic Challenge. So let's get started now with our opening match. It's the lightning round, and this round all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We'll subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. We start each team tonight with 100 points. Here we go. All the answers in this round, guys, begin with the letter T. The letter T. Let's start. In 1922, an archaeologist found the tomb of this Egyptian pharaoh. Triway. King Tut. King Tut, correct. This two-word phrase describes she sells seashells down by the seashore. Triway. Tongue twister. Got through it. Tongue twister is right. In North Africa, this country is located between Algeria and Smithville. Tunisia. And Libya. Tunisia is right. On public occasions, the U.S. president gets a salute of this many guns. Triway. 21. 21, yes. This Alabama Institute was founded by Booker T. Washington Triway. Tuskegee. Yes. This chemical element has the symbol W. Smithville. Tungsten. Tungsten, yes. This actor starred in 22 Jump Street and White House Down. What's down? Channing Tatum. Tatum, yes. This 12th U.S. president, first name was Zachary. Triway. Taylor. Taylor's right. This was the garment worn by male citizens in ancient Rome, Smithville. Tunic. No, the toga is the right answer there. For our final lightning round question, let's go over to Dante Centauri from the Great Lakes Science Center. One of the demonstrations here at Great Lakes Science Center is electric madness. which features a 1 million volt high frequency resonant transformer that produces powerful electric fields generated by coils named for what inventor? Triway. Tesla. Tesla is right. Well done, Triway. And that does it for the opening round. Be back and meet the teams as Academic Challenge continues. <laughs> Just like anything can happen in the game you're about to watch, anything can happen in life. That's why there's Westfield Insurance. Our employees and agency partners are here for you when the unexpected happens. Help put the pieces back together and give you peace of mind. In addition to high school quiz shows, we support programs like teen driver safety and community involvement. The bottom line is that we value what you value. So thanks for tuning in. Now let's watch these sharp young minds compete in what's sure to be an exciting match. Challenge. Thanks for watching us tonight. It's now time for the mix it up around here. The questions are worth 20 points. There's no penalty for an incorrect answer. If a team answers all six questions correctly, they'll receive those very important 25 bonus points. First, let's take some time to learn a little bit more about team number one from Smithville. Smithville, located in Wayne County, it's a comprehensive high school offering a wide variety of courses, grades 9 to 12. Along with traditional classes and core subject areas, the school offers an online entrepreneurship program that allows students to take business classes for college credit. In addition, the school offers visual and performing arts, family and consumer sciences, foreign language, agriculture education, and industrial technology. Okay, the captain of Smithville is Caleb. Caleb, you're the treasurer, or I should say the secretary of National Honor Society. Tell us more. Uh, I also attended American Legion, Buckeye Boys State, and Boys Nation, and I'd like to thank our coach, Mrs. Nelson, and our alternates. And right over to Nathan. Nathan, you play golf. Tell us more about yourself. Yes, I also play trumpet, and I'm in National Honor Society. Over to uh, Jacob. Jacob, you're in the band? Yes, I play bassoon and oboe. All right, very good. Smithville, gentlemen, these questions just for you. Let's begin right now. Choose one word from each column. You'll name what body of water separating Africa from the Arabian Peninsula. Red Sea. That is right. A person who is meticulous. Best described by which of these? Careful. Careful, yes. Every other letter is missing here. The name of what small Baltic country capital is Vilnius? 
Lithuania. Lithuania is right. Convert to this strap into 20 points. If you rearrange the name, the letters to name what militaristic Greek city-state, often at odds with Athens. Sparta. Sparta, yes. If these three types of clothing from other cultures, which one comes from South America? Poncho. Poncho, yes. 25 bonus points possible here, Smithville. These were the sentiments of what Union general, who's nonetheless led his troops on a destructive march through Georgia to the sea? Sherman. 25 <laughs> bonus points! <laughs> for Smithville. Well done, guys. Hey, team two is Rootstown. Rootstown High School, located in Portage County, has an enrollment of 400 students, grades 9 to 12. Students enjoy a wide variety of extracurricular activities, including fine and performing arts, along with varsity sports and academic groups. The school offers AP and honors classes, plus vocational programs at the Maplewood Career Center. Jacob is the captain of Rootstown. Jacob, uh, you're a student uh, at Kent State. You're the post-secondary student there. Uh, yes, I take college writing one there, and I'm also the captain of our quiz bowl team, and I'm also a member of our philosophy club, and I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. DiBattista. All right, very good. Over to Dominic. Dominic, you're the captain of the bowling team. Tell us more about Dominic. I, as you said, I'm the captain of the bowling team. I'm also a co-captain of the baseball team, and I'm the historian in National Honor Society. Terrific. Over to Rebecca. Rebecca, you're a cheerleader. Tell everyone at home more about you. I play soccer as well, and I'm a chemist at Kent State University. All right, very good. Dominic, Jacob, Rebecca, Rootstown, these questions only for you. One word from each column here. Name what Cold War symbol that was built in 1961 and dismantled in 1989. The Berlin Wall. That is right. If your class were to visit a citadel, you'd be visiting which of these? Fortress. Fortress, yes. Here we've filled in every other letter. The name of what mountain range separating France from Spain? The Pyrenees. Pyrenees, yes. Don't be hasty, but take time to rearrange the letters to name what Middle Eastern river that merges with the Tigris in southeastern Iraq? The Euphrates. The Euphrates, yes. If you wanted to take a vacation on a tropical island, you'd choose which of these? Tahiti. Tahiti, you would. 25 bonus points possible here at Rootstown. These were the words of what masterful politician, the 19th century Prussian chancellor, whose name was given to the capital city of North Dakota. Capital of North Dakota. Give us a guess here. Take a guess. Bismarck. 25 bonus points. <laughs> For Rootstown. Nice job there. Hey, finally tonight is Triway. Triway High School in southern Wayne County. Serves the communities of Worcester. Shreve and Moreland has 420 students, grades 9 to 12. Featuring a comprehensive curriculum, Triway enjoys strong fine arts, consumer science, vocational agriculture programs, and offers a wider array of extracurricular opportunities like science club, NHS, French and Spanish clubs. Boys and girls sports teams include volleyball, cross-country bowling, Daniel is the captain of Triway. Daniel plays the piano. Tell us more, Daniel. I also go full time to Wayne College in the College Credit Plus program. And I would like to thank our advisor, Ken Swartz. Right, very good. Over to Todd. Todd, you uh, play in the band. Tell us more, Todd. Yeah, I play trombone in the band. I'm part of the College Credit Plus at, uh, program at Wayne College, and I'm in 4 H and cross country. Right, and I would like to thank our teachers and administration for letting us be here. Awesome, thank you. And over to Parker. Parker, you're in the National Honor Society. Tell us more. Uh, yeah, I also do baseball and indoor track, and I would like to thank all of our supporters for being here tonight to cheer us on. Okay, so would we try away these questions just for you. Choose one word from each column. Name what objects that kept the mythical Atalanta from winning an important race. Poison apples? No, the golden Apples. If someone were accused of using spurious arguments, which of these words would best describe his reasoning? False. False, yes. Fill in the blanks here to name what chemical element, a noble gas used in advertising signs. Neon. Neon, yes. This skier will bring you 20 points if you rearrange the letters to get what title used by German emperors from 1871 to 1918? Kaiser. Kaiser, yes. Which of these creatures is not a mammal? Cayman. Cayman, correct. These were the then controversial words of what 16th century Polish astronomer noted for his heliocentric theory. Yeah. Copernicus. Copernicus is right. Now, does it for that round. Only one yeah. missed answer. Well done, all three teams. When we return, we'll continue more Q&A right after this. Wicker Insurance, a Westfield partner, bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust question of the week. True or false? Loss due to a power failure is covered under the homeowner's insurance policy. 
For the answer and a chance to win an iPad mini, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. Challenge before we begin our next round. Let's recap the score so far tonight. Very close match. Tied second place, 255 Smithville. Rootstown also second place, 255. And so far in the lead tonight, 260 is Triway. So only five points uh, separating the teams here early on. Time for the picture perfect round here. Each answer, 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here. So hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Here we go. This statue is a memorial to the passengers who perished aboard what ocean liner that sank after hitting an iceberg in 1912, Triway? The Titanic. That is right. Those traveling to the Congo River pass along a series of rapids named for what doctor whom Henry Stanley set out to find, Smithville? Livingston. That is right. This stamp honors the American bison, also honored as the official mammal of what U.S. suitor state? Smithville. Wyoming. No, suitor state is Oklahoma. When multiplied out, what is the coefficient of the X term? Smithville. X to the 40th. No, 20. The title of this Kadinsky painting identifies what long the initialed Russian river that empties into the Caspian Sea triway? Volga. Volga, yes. Here we see a family tree from the Lord of the Rings. Missing is the name of what hobbit who travels with Frodo to Mordor? Triway. Sam. Sam is right. You can see these ancient ruins. If you visit what Greek city that shares its name with the modern capital of Triway? Athens. Modern capital of Washington State, Olympia, is the right response there. In this issue of Cleveland Magazine, we learn the interesting backstory of a downtown Cleveland memorial built 70 years after the death of what 16th U.S. president? Smithville. Lincoln. Abe Lincoln is right, and that does it for the yeah. Picture Perfect Round. We'll be back for Q&A as AC continues. Advisors tonight from Rootstown, Christopher DiBattista from Smithville, Teresa Nelson, and from Triway, Ken Swartz. Time to get back underway now, hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team a question. The correct responses were 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive those very important 25 bonus points. First up, team number one, Smithville. For your questions, we go over to Jacob from Rootstown. Jacob, what will it be for Smithville? One, two, three, or four? Four. Envelope number four for the gentleman from Smithville. Here we go, guys. No need to buzz in. An 18th century gunboat discovered at the bottom of Lake Champlain in 1997 was part of a fleet commanded by what American Revolutionary War general who later turned traitor? Benedict Arnold. Arnold is right. If and when Prince William becomes king of England, he will be crowned at what same London Abbey where he was married? Downton. No, Westminster. Several million dollars were recently paid for a large collection of memorabilia from what woman who had helped start the Montgomery bus boycott in, eight, in 1955? Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, yes. To the monitor your science question. DNA usually produces an exact duplication of itself, but occasionally the replication is intact, or I should say inexact, resulting in which of these? A mutation. A mutation is right for the first time in over a century. A new species of tortoise has been identified in what group of islands where Charles Darwin did his research? Galapagos. That is right. If you're looking for some light, cheerful reading, you should avoid, avoid the Tolstoy novel whose title character is What Unhappy Woman Named Anna? Uh, Anna Karenina. That is right. To the monitor your math question, give your answer in square feet. What is the area of this rectangle? The area. 156. No, the answer is 12. The last U.S. general to become president was what 34th chief executive who had led American forces in World War II? Eisenhower. Eisenhower is right. Well done, Smithville. Yeah. <laughs> All right, team two is Rootstown. For your questions, we go over to Daniel from Triway. Daniel, what did it be? One, two, three, or four? Four, Rootstown. Two. Envelope number two 
Here we go. Questions just for you, Rootstown. In order to lay siege to the Alamo, the army of Santa Ana had to cross what river? That's now the principal boundary between Texas and Mexico. The Rio Grande. That is right. The origin of Charles Darwin's fame is his book titled The Origin of what? Species. Species, yes. Egyptian history goes back more than 4,000 years, but it wasn't until the year 936 that what city, now Egypt's capital, was founded? Cairo. Cairo's right. So the monitor here for your science question, entire column of atmosphere over the Earth has about the same weight as a 30-inch column of what element? Mercury. Mercury, yes. If the president could appoint mythical deities to cabinet posts, what classical goddess of harvest and grain would be a good choice to head the agriculture department? Yeah. Dionysus. No, Ceres is the right answer. A nap, it can be, fresh, be refreshing, but what Washington Irving character overdid it when he took a nap that lasted 20 years? Long nap? I guess I have a guess here. Rip Van Winkle. To the monitor for your math question, solve what you see here for X. Six. Yeah, six is right, although its various tribal groups speak over 80 languages. Ahamaric is the official language of what African country? Capital city is Addis Ababa. Kenya. Ethiopia is the right answer there. Well done, Rootstown. A tough draw. We move on now down to Triway. We go back over to Caleb from Smithville. Caleb, we have one and three. One. Envelope number one for Triway. Here we go. Questions just for you. Old frontier towns deserted after nearby mines ceased to be valuable are now known by what, by what name suggesting they are haunted? Ghost towns. That is right. Preservationists bemoan that Philadelphia has no surviving 18th century meeting houses from what religion to which William Penn belonged? Quakers. Quakers, right. Though Heath was found in the hottest part of Africa, the name Snowflake was given to the first known albino example of what largest of the great apes? Gorilla. Gorilla is right. So the monitor science question, in an animal embryo, which of these is the innermost layer of tissue? Endoderm. Endoderm, yes. Over 40 objects resembling both planets and comets have now been identified between Saturn and what seventh planet from the sun? Uranus. Uranus, yes. Though he had Rome in his name, Shakespeare's Romeo lived in what other city associated in another title with two gentlemen? Ravenna. No, a Verona is the right answer. <sighs> to the monitor your math question, how many degrees are there in angle X? Sixty. Sixty is right. Early explorers gave the name the Snares to a group of rocky islands that are now part of what country whose capital is Wellington? New Zealand. New Zealand is right. Well done, Triway. And we have a very tight match as we head into the grab bag round. Only a few questions separating first and third. Stay close. For complete information about everything academic, visit us online at newsnet5.com slash academic challenge. All right, welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we continue, let's recap the scores so far tonight. In third place, 355 points, Rootstown. Second place, 375, Smithville. In the lead tonight, heading into our grab bag round, it is Triway at 420. It is now time for the grab bag round. This is a free for all. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. But a team will lose 20 points for a wrong or no answer. Also, in this round, some visual questions worth 30 points. But again, an incorrect answer will cost a team 30 points. This is for all three teams, so everyone, hands on your buzzers. Our grab bag round begins now. Voices in the Ocean is a recent book about what de-initialed aquatic mammal noted for its intelligence. Smithville. Dolphin. That is right. A collector paid more than $75,000 for a medal commemorating the unsuccessful polar expedition by what British explorer who died while returning from the South Pole in 1912? Triway. Bird. Uh, no, Robert Falcon Scott. On George Washington's birthday, visitors do not have to pay an entrance fee to what carefully preserved Washington estate 
on the Potomac River. Rutstown. Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is right. To the monitor. This man never made it to the White House. Though in 1856, Smithville. Fremont. He was the first presidential candidate of the Republican Party. Fremont is right. The window washers were dressed as superheroes recently to cheer up the young patients at the Children's Hospital in what largest Alabama city? What's sound? Birmingham. Birmingham, yes. An Indiana book call, bookstore called Verl's Books specializes in the works of what native son whose novels include Cat's Cradle and Slaughterhouse Five, Triway. Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut, yes. How many degrees are there in an angle, which is one half its complement? Triway. 60. No 30 oh. to the monitor. This comment comes from what British writer? The author of Peter Pan. Smithville. Davies. No, Barry. This first gold coins made at the San Francisco Mint were what denomination equal to the value of a current bill picturing Alexander Hamilton? What's down? Ten dollars. Ten dollars is right. Choice. Which of these is the heaviest? A hydrogen nucleus, an alpha particle, or a beta particle? Try away. Hydrogen nucleus. No, an alpha particle. At zero degrees latitude, what name is given to the longest belt of latitude on the globe? Smithville. Equator. Equator, yes, to the monitor. These boys are looking at headlines from what year when World War II started in Europe? Two years, Smithville. 1939. Before the U.S. entered the conflict, 1939 is right. Well done. Julius Caesar didn't build the Colosseum, but he did rebuild what sport, sports amphitheater where chariot races took place. Anybody know this? Circus Maximus. Although he married at age 16, the Asian prince Siddhartha Gautama later left his family to become what religious leader, Smithville? Buddhism. Bo Buddhism. Buddha, Buddha is to become what religious leader? Judge? Buddha? I don't think we can accept that. We cannot accept that. The answer is Buddha, not Buddhism. Or International travelers with long layovers should note there is no, there is an ice rink at the airport in what eminential city German's third largest? Rutstown. Munich. Munich is right. Both the International Harvester Company and U.S. Steel were organized through the efforts of what American-born banker, often known by his first initials, J.P. Smithville. Morgan. Morgan is right. The book, A Loyal Character, Character Dancer, is a mystery novel set not in the capital, but in what largest Chinese city? Triway. Shanghai. Shanghai, yes. Hero is the name not of a man, but of a mythical Greek woman in love with what man whose swan the hell is spawned each night to be with her? Triway. Leander. Oh. A scientist who discovers a new principle might shout, what Greek word? Supposedly Triway. Eureka. Eureka is right. The Third Symphony of Von Williams and the Sixth Symphony of Beethoven are given what same name, suggesting the countryside. Anybody know this? Pastoral in ancient Greece, the Pythian Games were a mu musical competition whose winners were crowned with the leaves of what plant? Sacred by Apollo Smithville. Laurel. Laurel, yes. Whew. Buzzer means the game is over. Let's take a look at our final standings tonight. In third place, 400 points, we have Triway. In second place, 435, Rootstown. And our winner tonight, 465 points, is Smithville. Congratulations. Hey, join us next week with future teams from Cuyahoga Falls, Illyria, and Solon. I'm Jason Nicholas. We'll see you next week for another edition of Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance.